everyone, my name is Tegan and welcome to Tandy Writes. This is my second booktube channel I think. I had another one called Tandy Reads which exists by private order videos because it was more of like a trial run, I wasn't very good at videos, I'm still not but I'm working on it. But that video was very book related and I want this channel to be a bit more writing related because since I had that channel I've wrote a book. So today, instead of doing like the booktube newbie tag or the youtube newbie tag, I say I'm going to do the bookish things about me tag because I think that's a bit more personal rather than just seeing like what my goals are for youtube. So let's begin. I have wanted to be a writer ever since I was 7 years old and I can't think of a single career choice I've wanted ever since that. I became interested in writing in year 2, 2 I think, which was around 2008 when I was 7. We had to learn spellings as homework for school, like learn how to spell words. And a lot we started off having to write them into sentences, but I started putting my sentences together and I started to write short stories which I still have to date in the other room, which I might read sometime. The first book that made me cry, well not cry, I, I teared up, it's the closest I got to crying over a book, is The Bunker Diary by Kevin Brooks, which I think is down here. Because this corner of my bookshelf is my favourite books, but it's covered up by the octopus. I have been offered two publishing contracts before. One was back in May. One, I have my address, is here, in this envelope. The first one wanted me to pay £2,400, this one wants me to pay £1,900. It's a better contract, but I'm a poor student, and vanity publishing is something that's quite frowned upon. I prefer writing male characters to female character ones, in all honesty. Which is quite weird because I am a female. This book here, Beauty and Breakdown, my debut novel, it features a male main character who the story is told from. I think that way it's a way of introducing more male characters into YA novels because they seem to be aimed at like a teenage girl audience, so they have teenage girl main characters. But I thought an interesting perspective perspective would be a way of like getting boys more into reading and it'll be able to show a more vulnerable style of boys that a lot of people may ignore or the kind of thing that society ignores. I am currently having an extreme case of reader's block. I have not put, picked up a book to read in a month, or about two months. I haven't picked up new books to read, I've just been rereading the same old ones, because I don't want to branch out to something new. I only have one completed novel. Sometimes I struggle with writing emotional scenes, because I'm not someone who feels emotions strongly, which makes a lot of people think I'm like selfish, self-centred or heartless. But really, I just have some extreme case of like emotional numbing or whatever it's called. My favourite underappreciated novel is The Death House by Sarah Pimbra, which is, you can see it sticking out here. It's a signed hardback, which I won in the competition with a writing website called Mabellas, which is like the best website in the world. Which brings me to number 10, which is I'm part of Mabellas, which is an online writing community aimed at all ages. The writing on there is credible. And I read books on there that are so much better than some of the books on this shelf. Ignore mine, mine started off on there. And in this book, there's a lot of secrets hidden that if you're just a reader, you won't notice. But if you're like a family or a friend, you will notice. Like, there's addresses that are very similar to my, my own address or family's addresses. There's places they go to which are like based on real places that I've been to with my family, my friends. So like little notes for them to pick up on through the story. And although there's lots of things that are related to my real life, I won't like name the characters after my actual friends. I'll like take my friend's middle name or last name and give that to a character but not their full name. It means that I feel like that'll be a way of portraying that person and I don't want to like ac inaccurately portray that person and somehow offend them. The strangest thing I've researched while trying to write a book, this book, is how to make cyanide out of apple seeds, which is surprisingly easy, so I'm concerned. I've never written a series of books, meaning because I've only finished one draft, but I don't have plans to either. But throughout all the stories I've written so far, whether it's a first draft, a first chapter, or like a near complete draft, there are like little connections between each story, like a character might appear somewhere who's been seen before, they'll go to a place that's been there before, there'll be a name that appears. So yeah, there's like a big spider web of connections between everything. And writing is something that I find, I finally, writing is something that I occasionally find exhausting, which is strange because it's the one thing I've like dedicated my life to, which might be why it makes people so drained. If I could stop and tell my younger self something, I would tell her to like actually take pride in what you're writing. There's a lot of ideas I had writing when I was younger, 
that I can remember writing. I remember the Word document, I remember the font I used, like you know the kid fonts we use like Comic Sans or Coles MT for the entire Word document. Like I can remember this everything in vivid detail, I know there's so many great ideas there, I just can't remember what the idea is. And that's so frustrating. So I tell my younger self to take pride in work and stop deleting Word documents. And number 18 is my final bookish fact about me, is I have a self-published novel called Beauty in the Breakdown, straightforward, which is available on Amazon.